About 20 years ago, I was skiing at Killington with a friend of mine, Father David Darcy. And it was, I have to be honest, a brutally cold day. I think it was with the wind chill somewhere around 30 below zero. And at certain points, the wind was blowing so hard, I remember that it actually started pushing us up, up the hill. Well, we, he and I come to get on the gondola and another gentleman comes in with us and I look at his face and it's clear he already had, because his face is exposed and he has frostbite on his cheeks and if I remember a little bit on his nose and we both looked at each other and looked at him and then said, Dude, you need to get inside. You have frostbite. He didn't know it. He couldn't feel it. He, obviously, he's outside. He couldn't see it. And when we got to the top of the gondola ride, that's the first thing he did. He went right inside. How often that happens to us in life. We simply don't see sort of what's going on. We don't see the ways that we're not really living our life in Christ. And we need some help in doing that. At least I know I do. It's the reason I have a spiritual director, another priest. I go to confession every one, every at least every two weeks. I try to go every week if I can. I pray every day. All of these help me to be able to see myself how God sees me. I couldn't do it on my own. If I didn't have the help of others, if I didn't have the help of prayer, I couldn't really see the ways that I'm messing up. And quite honestly, I mess up a lot. There's a reason I go to confession every week pretty easily. I mess up a lot. I'm not saying I'm committing horrible sins, but I am not living my life in accord with the life that Christ is calling me to. Whether it's issues of humility, patience, simplicity, self-centeredness, in so many other different ways. The truth and the reality is, it is so easy to miss the mark. It is so easy to get off balance and not know it. Because we're just simply going on with life. That gentleman was simply skiing. He was having a good time. He was enjoying himself. Yeah, it was cold out, he thought. But he didn't feel anything. He didn't notice anything. And so he just kept doing what he was doing until someone pointed out to him and then he went, went to make a change. And each and every one of us need that help. Again, that's why we're given the great gifts that we are given. The great gifts of confession, of prayer, of other people in our life Hopefully we all have that person who can be honest with us, who can help us to see what we can't see. The life of living a life in Christ is not about perfection. We're not going to achieve that. It's about our willingness to change. It's about that willingness to have that contrite heart. It's about the desire to want to only do God's will. That that is what becomes our heart's deepest desire. Even when externally we do the things we will not to do, as St. Paul says. But it'll help our heart to grow, to become what it needs to become. We have to recognize our need to change. 
We have to recognize the ways that we're going off. We need to recognize that we need help, that we're not called to do it alone. Seek the help. Find those people in your life who can be honest with you. Open up to the gift of confession and make use of the power of prayer. Allow yourself to see what needs to change and allow God's grace to bring that change about. God bless.